Hi, welcome to another quick tutorial for Paddy for Lightroom. Um, we're going to concentrate on macros, which we really haven't talked about in the past. The past year or so was focused on MIDI. Um, but the macros are actually very powerful, and the question on the boards reminded me about this. Um, the question was, um, a person was asking, I find myself very often, you know, having to mark a few pictures, I go on sync, and then I want to, you know, probably have to hit check none because there's lots of stuff checked and, and, and Lightroom remembers the setting. I want to sync only white balance, I want to synchronize, and, and this seems something that we should be able to automate in, um, in Patty, and indeed we are. Uh, for something like this, the first thing we have to find out is what are the keystrokes you would actually use, because Patty macros work with the keystrokes. So the sync panel comes up with Control shift s okay? And now what we can do is we can actually go around here in the panel using the up and down keys. So if I hit down, um, you can see that several the boxes are highlighted one after the other. And if I hit space, something is checked. Sharpenings checked, unchecked, checked, unchecked. Um, and I can do this with all of the all of the boxes. Similarly, if I go up from here, cancel is marked now, synchronize, and now check none. And if I hit enter for check none, I'm fine there. And then if I go back up here, um, this way, white balance basic tone, for instance, I mark, I hit enter, and it synchronizes. So that gives us the keystrokes. Now, where do we put this into Patty? We put it here into assign Patty macros. We have to give the macro a name, and then assign the keystrokes that, that we want to use. Uh, and we have to use special characters for control, alt, shift, etc. So um, one <laughs> I'm slow while because I'm recording. One thing I'm doing uh, is actually have a little a little uh, site text here in a notepad that actually writes this down. So um, where I make these notes. So the first thing we have to do is Control Alt uh, Shift. Sorry, Control Shift S, which is uh, the circumflex plus S, and then we do three ups and enter and three downs. Why are we doing this? If I go uh, here in, in our there you go in our synchronized thing. If I go three ups, one, two, three, I hit enter, and I go three downs, I just checked none, and I'm right on the white balance. With a space, I'm going to mark the white balance, and then with an enter, we would synchronize just the white balance. So here's our string. It's very simple. It's Control shift s up, 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 enter, down, 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 space. Um, I'm not going to put the enter here, because I want to see what this actually does. So what I do is I copy the string, Control c for copy, go over and patty, Put it in the macro, and I'm going to call it sync white balance. Okay. Now we have to assign a key to sync white balance. So I go over. Uh, I'm going to put it on my X keys here, my external keyboard. Well, that's busy. Um, uh, let's see. Let's put it on the second layer, escape uh, up here. Uh, or we had escape that first key. Uh, and in the usual manner, we go to our uh, macros, uh, preset macro camera settings, there's a last macro, there's our sync white balance, hit OK. So now if I mark a couple of pictures and I hit my layer here, there you go, white balance is checked. And I could just hit enter for instance. Um, let's try something, I'm gonna mark a bunch of things here, hit synchronize, um, but I'm actually gonna undo this. And now I'm going to synchronize again, and we can see that only the white balance is checked because we checked none. Hit enter, and we are done. Uh, in a similar fashion, if I wanted to do something else, let's say I also wanted to synchronize my clarity, okay? That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine down, okay? All I have to do here is I'm going to create a new string, copy this over, and then, so uh, down, 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 space, and now I need nine downs and another space, right? One, two, three, these are nine downs. Nine times going down. Another space. I again leave off the enter so we see what's happening. Uh, copy this, go over to the patty macros, and this is now sync, white balance, and, uh, and clarity, paste, maybe. Check our spelling error here. All right, so let's see whether we did this correctly. Oh, first we have to assign it to something. Let's put it on the next keys, put it on that same, but in the third layer. layer. You can see my layer three here is on. 
um, macros, white balance and clarity. I do this, and we have white balance and clarity checked. Cancel this. Do my other key. I've only the white balance checked. Uh, and just sort of as an example, finally, to see to show how quick this is, if I if I add enter behind these, um, it's going to be lightning fast to sync this, which was one of the reasons why I didn't show this. So I go to macros, and I say I use white balance and clarity. I go to the end by hitting end, and I want to hit enter here. Oh, wrong parenthesis. You got to use the um, these things, however they're called. Okay, uh, and I don't even know whether you're going to see this. There you go. Sent. Okay, here's my normal one where I had to white balance and I, had, I could check something else now if I wanted to, which is why I have it set up this way, synchronized. Or I just do very quickly um, the, the, the syncing with the uh, macro that hits an enter. Hope that's helpful. Um, the macros are indeed very powerful. Anything uh, that has a shortcut in Lightroom, you can put in the macro, and the macro uses um, the Lightroom shortcuts. So if Paddy had to uh, had mapped Control Shift S here uh, to something that's ignored. It literally sends this to Lightroom, so uh, you can map Control Shift S to something else and still use a macro like this. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Um, have a good time.